Listen, let's have a chat now about talent and diversity, something that is incredibly important, where we're both aligned on the need to improve diversity in the London market. But I think some great strides have been taken in the last few years. Before we talk about what next, is it, would you like to just share some of the main initiatives that have been taking place over the last two or three years under your leadership and what progress we've seen off the back of them? Absolutely. So the, I mean, I guess the one that's been up and running for the longest is the London Insurance Life campaign, which is both uh, a social media and events campaign, mm. that is there to attract new and diverse talent into the market. So we we sort of do the milk rounds, if you like, on the on the on the behalf of the whole market, trying to promote uh, careers in the London market. That's at universities, colleges, and schools. So we both mm. have insight events and go to the events, the careers events that they held they hold at their own institution and we get people to try and we, we, we encourage people to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn where we post people posts and that's um, through our network of 130 ambassadors who are there to help us promote the London market we also post um, entry-level jobs internships and graduate schemes on those social media channels for free. So we encourage every, everybody in the London market to post their jobs and uh, graduate intern and internships on there. Um, because what we try to do is reach those people that are about to make a decision about where they want a career to show all the opportunities that are available. And then, and, and then at the beginning of this year, we awarded the Lille Bursary, which was a, a bursary that pays off 50% of uh, a student's uh, B student loan uh, in return for them showing us how how they've worked on trying to improve the diversity in the market and we'll be running a, hopefully running another one of those this year um, then we did the work on the future workforce um, looking at the skills the London market would need in the future and that surfaced a lot around um, digital skills data scientists data analysts those sorts of things and it's not all about attracting new talent into the market it's also about retraining the current talent that we have. and i'm really passionate about that and the thing that i really love about that is the ambassadors that you mentioned they're actually volunteers so it's that lovely sort of bottom-up sustainable model which we can keep going is there anything else you think we can or should be doing as a market to attract these new skills that we're going to need in the next few years i think we need to look at, at our culture and, and, and what we're offering these young people, because because actually their 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 um, their needs are very different to, to when when we joined the market. You know, if I talk to my own children who are twenty, and they talk about you know work life balance, they talk about you know being flexible, be, being able to be part of things and not in a rigid structure and a role. These are all things that we haven't quite cracked yet, and I. Um, you know, we're making strides to do that, but I think we need to, to, to work a bit harder because if not, we won't be relevant to them and then we won't be offering them what they need. Because this concept of being agile and, you know, we talk about agile culture and it doesn't just mean working from home or, you know, coming into work later. That's not, that's not the essence of agile. The essence of agile is, is you know, if there's a, a project going on, you allow somebody in a different area to go and work on that project and potentially take a leadership role that they wouldn't have in their traditional role. They're really giving those people the opportunity to, to stretch and learn on the job and, and pushing them out into a, a position um, where they, you know, they, they could be exposed, but allowing them to fail in a safe environment. And I think that's what they're looking for. They're not looking for a rigid you know very siloed roles anymore they're looking for the opportunity to, to, to you know to be all things to all, all, all men and women um, and I think that's that we haven't cracked that yet and it's something that we all need to look at internally to ensure that we have got that right culture. Mm, that's a great point because actually what you're saying is we need to allow people to take a risk on themselves and we need yep. to give them the permission to do that yep. which given that we're in the market of risk you would should be able to do Kate. yes we should. should be able to do yeah exactly <laughs> But somehow coupled with that still allowed people to build that deep expertise that the London market's always been known for. Um, and that's yeah, the balance it, that we strike. Yeah, but it's, diffi it's difficult because when we did that future workforce, 
one of the things that came out of there is that actually wide is better than deep. When I were talking about wide, they were talking about, okay, you can have deep experience in insurance, but you need wide experience of the industries that you're serving. Mm. And I, I, to understand their stresses and strains. So you might be really good at energy insurance, but you know, do you really know the energy sector inside and out? Mm. And, and I think that's, that's quite important as well. So mm. you need broad as well as deep. Yeah, we talk a lot internally about business insight and that broader perspective. Yeah. And it's how do, you, how do you give people the opportunity to develop that earlier in their career whilst they may want to build very, very deep technical skills. We still, to your point, we need that broader view. Yeah, you absolutely um, do. And, and to, to the point around innovation and how we remain relevant, that's all part of remaining relevant to our clients, to, to, to know the journeys that they're going on from an operational and business mm -hmm. perspective. And business models are changing all the time. Operational models are changing all the time. You need those valuable insights to be able to then come back to, 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 your, to your own shop and say, look, this is what's happening in that industry. We need to start seriously looking at what we're offering them. Otherwise, we're not yeah. going to remain relevant anymore. Yeah. Well, Claire, I think we've covered a huge amount of ground this morning. We have. A massive, <laughs> a massive, massive thank you. I think we could chat all day, but um, we've touched on so much from the overall role of the marketplace, how it's thriving, the unknown talent and diversity. So thank you very much for your time this morning. I really appreciate it. It's been a great pleasure, Kate. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you.